feel like I've been trying so hard to work on losing weight, but I just can't seem to motivate myself when it comes to exercising and managing my diet. I don't know what to do. I've tried just about everything. You guys are health tech, es tech experts. I was told that you guys might have some advice. We hear your struggles and believe it or not, you're not alone in this journey. We know that weight loss can be so difficult, but as health tech experts, we're here to help. Now, let me ask you, have you heard of MyFitnessPal before? MyFitnessPal? No, I haven't. What's that? Well, MyFitnessPal is a phone application that can track the diet and exercise. To track nutrients, users can either scan the barcodes of various food items or manually find them in the app's large pre-existing database. Um, my fitness pal is an app that can help individuals track their progress and promote long-term health. Mm, sounds interesting. I've never really tracked my food before. How does it work? So mm, any food items that we consume have a certain amount of calories. Calories are our body's source of fuel. And calorie tracking lets us estimate the amount of calories we intake each day and allows us to make changes to our diet to fit our desired health goals. For example, the average adult needs to consume between 2,000 to 2,500 calories. And the term macros refers to macronutrients, which are the nutrients that our body uses in the largest amounts throughout, their, throughout our day-to-day -day life. These are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Logging macros is very similar to tracking calories, but we need to keep in mind that not all calories are the same. This means that depending on our personal health goals, our daily limit of calories may consist of more proteins than carbs and fat. If someone were to, for example, want to gain muscle mass, or even vice versa for another individual. But the bottom line is, logging macros and tracking calories are used together in order to help individuals attain and maintain our health goals, even more so when paired with a complementing exercise routine. Okay, but to be honest, I've never really used apps before, and I'm not even sure like how to download this thing. No worries at all. We can definitely guide you through that process one set at a time right now. I know that technology might seem a bit daunting at first, but we're here to help. This app has a lot of great tools and resources for you, so it's definitely worth a try. All right, um, so how do I download it then? Yeah, so that depends on what kind of phone you have. So if you carry an iPhone or maybe another Apple device like an iPad, you should have access to a section in that device called the App Store. Basically, you can scroll through your phone to find the App Store icon, and once you click it, you will have the option to search for any app you would like to download. So as we mentioned, this app is called MyFitnessPal, so simply type MyFitnessPal and just hit the download button to get the app installed into your device. Now, you may need to log in with your Apple ID to do this, and this process is the exact same, but instead with the Google Play Store if you had an Android device instead. Okay, sounds good. So what do I do after I have the app? How do I get started? And if you already have a MyFitnessPal account, otherwise set up an account by clicking sign up. You can sign up with either your email address or Facebook account. Either way, once you're signed in, you'll continue to set up your MyFitnessPal My Fitness account by answering questions by your current lifestyle habits. Questions such as what is your current goal, lose weight, or maintain weight? How active are you? As well as personal information questions like your birthday, age, location, height, and weight. After providing all required information, you'll need to re-enter your email and password for MyFitnessPal and create a username for your MyFitnessPal account. Finally, the app will prompt you to sign your terms of agreement. Once you've agreed, you're officially signed up for the free version of MyFitnessPal. All right, that makes a lot of sense. So you said I could track my food on this, right? How exactly would I do that? So essentially on the app, there will be a little plus sign to add in an entry. So simply click the sign and it'll take you to a page where you can select what kind of meal you're logging. For example, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then you can enter in exactly what you ate. For example, you could type in strawberries and the app will give you a few options to choose from. And usually those options are the same food, but just in different quantities or size of the food. Wow, that's interesting. What if I want to get super specific about the food that I log though? For example, a certain brand of cereal or like what about when I eat out? Great question. 
So the app will actually show you a variety of different brands as well as if your food that your food has. And so you can choose specifically the one that you would like. And for example, when you eat out in a restaurant or take out food, you can also search up the specific restaurant you ate at by typing its name and you can select the location that you went to. And what this will do is the app will then give you the option of entering meals specific to that place so that you can log in that as well. Well, that's fantastic. Now, what I really want to know is, what about my calories? How do I see that? Yeah, so what's so wonderful about this app is that as you log food, it will actually show how many calories you have consumed throughout the day, as well as how many calories you have burned if you input in your exercise. So although it might not be 100% accurate, it does allow you to have a rough idea of how you might be able to manage your diet better, or if you need to include more exercise in your daily routine to support your weight loss journey. This is so great. I'll definitely try downloading the app and starting tracking my food and exercise. And you said other people use this too, right? Maybe I can look into the MyFitnessPal community as well to try and see if I can find some online motivation or perhaps even share this app with my family and friends so they can join me too. Thank you for the tips.